first thing I'm doing is priming using Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade and just applying this all over my skin. Then for foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. I'm just applying this using my Damp Beauty Blender and it was a bit too pale for me because I had a shitload of fake tan on, but I made it work in the end by using a fair bit of bronzer. So I'm just blending this all over my skin for a flawless complexion. Next up, I'm priming my eyelids using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm just using a Sigma brush to apply this all over my eyelids just because I've got nails now and I cannot dig my nails into things. Then I'm going in with the Morphe 12NB palette. I'm taking this bone shade and I'm just setting the entire eyelid with this for a smooth base. And then I'm taking this sort of, it's kind of a skin tone shade on me. It's a little bit pinker. And I'm just buffing this really messily into the crease and above the crease. Then I'm taking this slightly darker brown shade and I'm just doing the same thing, just buffing this right into the crease. Then going in with this warm toned orange shade and the darker kind of camel color shade, I'm just going to blend these into the crease once again. I'm literally using the same brush for all of these steps guys. You can use the Sigma E40 for literally anything. So I'm just blending this all the way into the crease and the outer corner. Then I'm taking the dark burgundy shade in the palette on a 217 brush. This is a lot more dense and sort of packs on a bit more color. So I'm packing it on in the outer corner and blending it into the outer corner and the crease. And I do start taking that color in towards the inner corner as I decided I want it to be a little bit more dark. Then I'm taking a flat brush and just this taupey shimmery bronze shade. I'm just packing this all over the lid. I love this color out of this palette. It's absolutely beautiful. So, oh, I got some on my nose, that's not smart. And then I'm just blending those edges again with the Sigma E40 brush, my favorite blending brush. Then I'm taking this glittery shadow from ColourPop. It's literally just a really sheer glittery kind of eyeshadow. I really, really love it. So I'm just applying this with my finger onto my lids just to add a little bit more of a sparkle. Then I'm taking this bronzy brownie chocolate shade from Models Prefer. Um, these eyeliners are so soft, I highly recommend them. So I'm just lining my upper lash line and then going in with a Sigma pencil brush and just buffing that line out to make it look nice and smoky. And then going in with a Rimmel black coal pencil, I'm just tight lining using that one. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then for falsies, I used Red Cherry 747Ls. Moving back onto the face, I am concealing using Maybelline Master Sculpt, I think it's called concealer. I have the shade Light and I'm just putting this all down the center of my face in, um, I don't know, not really any kind of motion. I'm just putting a little strip in each section. And then I'm just using my Beauty Blender once again to press that into my skin. Love this concealer. I mentioned it in my last favorites video and it is literally so good for such a cheap concealer. Then I'm going into my Inglot palette and I'm taking this highlight shade and just pressing it underneath my eyes and all the other areas where I concealed and I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush to do so. Then to contour my cheekbones and around my hairline, I'm using another shade out of my Inglot palette. I will have all the numbers listed down below, but I'm just using this Sigma brush to carve out my cheeks and then I just took a bit around my hairline just to make everything look a little bit more sculpted. And I also took some down the sides of my nose as well. And then I took the bronzer shade that I've got and just used a big brush to bronze up my skin just to add color and some life back into it because I was looking quite pale. And then I do just go in with my beauty blender just to blend out any splotchiness and parts that weren't properly blended. And then for blush, I'm using another Inglot 
powder and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it backwards. You can see how pigmented these are when I apply them. They are amazing powders guys. And then for highlight, I'm using the MAC Extreme Dimension, I think it's called, um, in Gleaming Glow, I believe. I will have it listed down below also, but I'm just highlighting all of the areas that I want to stand out. So pretty, oh my god. Then onto lips, I just lined my lips using a model's preferred lip liner. Again, they're so soft. All of their pencils are so soft. So it's just a nude shade and I filled my lips in using a NYX Extreme Butter Gloss in... I do not know, but it will be down below. I have a bad memory today, guys. I'm so sorry. Back onto the eyes, I'm taking the warm tone brown and a cool tone brown, mixing them together and buffing those right underneath the lower lash line. And I'm taking it right into the inner corner part as well. And then taking the burgundy shade on the 217 once again, I'm just doing the same thing, um, just kind of keeping it a little bit closer to the lash line. And then going in with the pencil brush, I'm just using the bronze shade we used on the lids just underneath the eyes as well. And then I'm just going to highlight in the inner corners using this kind of light champagne-y shimmery shade and apply some lower lash mascara. And then I did take the brown coal pencil from Models Prefer again into my lower waterline and that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.